Connect the Ethernet port of the NRI, the XDCS3000, and the network port of the SIP phone with the switch using a CAT5 cable. Connect the PBX traditional analog telephone with the VoIP voice gateway. Then use a CAT5 cable to connect the VoIP voice gateway and the switch. Use the same kind of cable to connect the Ethernet port of the NRI XDCS3000 with the network switch. Connect the PC with the Network Resource Interface, NRI. The IP address of the NRI could be set via configuration software. If users are not aware of the IP address, please use the screw to press the button at the rear panel of the NRI to reset it to the default address, which is 192.168.2.200. Open the browser on the PC and input the IP address i.e. version 10 plus is recommended. Select the language for the web page. Currently only Chinese and English characters are supported. Input the default username and password to log in. Users can add a new username and password after logging in. The default username and password can be found in the user manual. Select the tab Web Admin on the left menu to add a new admin account. Only the administrator account has the admin rights for adding, editing, or deletion. Input the account name and password. Confirm the password, and then a new admin account has been added. To add new users, select the tab User on the left menu, and then click Add. Input the account number. The account is defined as the phone number that users could dial on the SIP phone to open specific zones. Only 3 to 16 numeric characters can be entered as an account. The domain name is the IP address of the server. If the PC connects directly with the NRI, the domain is the same as the IP address of the NRI. Input the password and confirm. Click OK. Additional users can be added, but each new user should have a different account name. Select the tab Setting on the left menu to set up the server and the client. The server could be selected as local or remote. If remote is selected, then users would need to add a new account number with a different IP address in the user tab. For the client setting, users could select one of the accounts as the server device account. No tasks will be triggered when dialing the account number from their SIP phone. To check the account status, select the tab status on the left menu. After setting up the account number, the corresponding tasks need to be configured. Select the tab Telephone on the left menu, then select Common Information. Upload audio files in a WAV format with a maximum of 14 files and a total maximum of 30 meg of music can be uploaded. Click Upload. Select Normal Call Chime Configuration. Select the tones from the uploaded list of audio files. These include Welcome Tone, Password Tone, Password Error Tone, Select Zone Tone, Zone Error Tone, Start Chime, and End Chime. Click Save. Select Call Account. Click Add. Select Account from the list. Input the broadcast password if needed. If it has been enabled, users will need to input the password when dialing these specific numbers. Input Priority from 56 to 255. The maximum call duration could be set from 1 through 10 minutes. If the zones need to be matched with a related dry contact output, please check this box. It refers to the dry contact output of the DCS and the NRI. If users want to set the calling task containing the zone information, then check the Select Zone box. A maximum of five accounts can be added without requiring a zone selection. Otherwise, users will need to input the zone number when calling from the SIP phone. Click OK. Users could customize the zone extension number in the Zone Info section. Users need to dial the extension number or select a zone to contact. Additional call accounts could be added. 
call account could be edited or deleted. Users could view the revision record from selecting the Log tab on the left menu. If there is no preset zone, first dial the call account number with the pound sign. After the prompt tone, if the call account has a password, enter the password. If the call account does not have a password, then dial the zone number, ending with the pound sign. If multiple zones need to be paged, then dial the zones, beginning with star and ending with pound. After following the steps above, the DCS opens the corresponding zones. Users may now use the telephone to page the corresponding zones. The chime tone will guide the users to input a password and begin speaking. If there is a zone preset, directly dial the call account number. The DCS will open the corresponding zones. Users may now use the telephone to page the corresponding zones. Thank you for watching this video. For more details, please refer to the user manual.